I created the most profitable crypto trading bot that outperformed one of the worst bear markets crypto has ever seen, 2022. And now I'm giving it 100K to trade with. Just to show you how insane this bot actually is, I gave this bot the worst possible backtesting period imaginable. From January 2021, the start of alt season in the previous bull market, through the start of the bear market in November 2021, all the way up to the current day. It was profitable during the Terra Luna collapse, which saw the coin Luna drop from $90 to a fraction of a penny in a matter of days. It survived the FTX bankruptcy scandal that plunged Bitcoin down to 16K and markets down way further. It beat buy and hold performance in one of the most grueling bear markets crypto has ever seen. Let me explain how trading bots are just way better than you at trading without trying to hurt your ego too much. Crypto markets are open around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's literally impossible to manually monitor the markets and execute trades all day long without having a team of traders handcuffed to a desk. This is just one reason why trading bots just win. Because even if you were someone who didn't need sleep and could dedicate your entire life to watching the market, you'd still be human. And that means getting tired or emotional but bots would never be either of these. They only follow the strategies that they've been programmed with. Even if you are the most disciplined trader in the world, inevitably you'll second guess yourself and miss out on an opportunity to enter or exit a trade. Bots don't flinch when the whole market dumps 30% in a day. They're prepared for massive pullbacks and make even more profits on super red days. I've been using crypto trading bots since 2018 and I've learned some priceless lessons that have cost me thousands. I guess they're not priceless then, are they? Anyway, the point is that I know trading bots. And even after spending years using crypto trading bots through bull and bear markets, I struggle to find a solution that would let me set it and forget it crockpot style until now. Here's an unfortunate truth about every other crypto trading bot strategy. Despite what every other crypto trading channel here on YouTube will tell you, because they're likely getting paid by these platforms, all of them require human intervention. Trading can just be exhausting exhausting sometimes. This is where trading bots shine. They don't get exhausted. They just wait for the right conditions and execute trades automatically. Then you get to reap the rewards of your bot trading system by bringing in more of the coins and tokens that you see potential in passively. You don't have to risk a big chunk of your portfolio to buy a coin that might go sideways or just straight down after you buy it. You'd only be risking a small percentage of your portfolio per trade. When the bot closes a trade in profit, you take a small percentage of that profit in the coin or token that you're hoping to accumulate at no risk to you. Let's say that your bot is using 10 USD to buy Chainlink. When the price of Chainlink hits our profit target of 5%, then instead of you just walking away with 1050 in profit, you're going to keep that 5% in Chainlink. You'd be surprised at how well these bots not only accumulate coins, but how quickly you can compound your portfolio. Plus, if you start accumulating coins at the beginning of a bull run, that 50 cents of Chainlink could easily be worth $50 someday. Another big bonus to using crypto trading bots to do your trading for you is that they use proper risk management for every single trade. It's easy to say to yourself, I use risk management all the time, but the thing is that humans are easily influenced by emotions, particularly fear and greed. And crypto ups the ante to Chuck Norris levels of fear and greed. While it's easy to say and agree that you're going to stick to a solid risk management strategy, the truth is that you'll likely be swayed by the market. In bullish conditions, you might put in a little bit too much than you usually use. When things turn bearish, you might panic early and sell the bottom, or worse yet, buy more after a measly 10% dump only to watch the chart dive another 30% the next day. Like I said before, this bot uses a fixed strategy that is prepared to handle significant significant drawdown without risking your entire account per trade. This strategy is even more profitable when the markets are bleeding red and crashing. And no, it's not using futures or shorting the market. This is a spot market based bot that only goes long, not short. So there's no risk or fear of liquidation. The reality with this trading system is that it sometimes takes weeks for a position to close in profit. But once you know how the bot works, then you'll be able to understand why that is and why the profits are well worth the wait. How does this crypto trading bot work? This crypto trading bot strategy uses our better crypto signal strategy on TradingView. This strategy is pre-programmed to work with a careful selection of 20 cryptocurrencies that are available across a wide range of exchanges. While you won't find 
every single token imaginable, the better crypto signals have been perfected to handle massive market shakeouts with ease with these specific 20 coins. Just because there are 20 coins available does not mean you have to run your bot. Let me explain quickly by talking about allocation. I'm big on allocation, which is the practice of assigning percentages of your portfolio or trading account for specific coins or trading strategies. If we want to take a conservative approach to these better crypto signals, then it would be better to distribute our funds across all 20 coins. Why? Because while one coin might take longer to hit its take profit target, others could be collecting coins like a teenager speed running Mario. The downside to the conservative approach though is that by spreading out your funds across 20 trading pairs, your profit potential gets divided by 1 20th. If I'm going to use $100,000 with this strategy and divide it up 20 ways, then each bot has a maximum trading size of $5,000. Of that $5,000, 5% take profit would yield a handsome $250 profit. Sounds pretty decent though, right? But if you want to get a bit more aggressive and reduce the total coins your bot will trade down to 10, now you have a max size per trade of $10,000, which would yield $500 a profit. And if we went even more aggressive with just two trading pairs for the bot, well, then we're looking at a potential profit per trade of about $2,500. 10 times our conservative profit potential. But there's a catch. If one of these trading pairs hits a slow streak and takes weeks to close, well, then you're just relying on one trading pair to do all of the heavy lifting. There's a trade-off and everyone has to decide for themselves what their risk tolerance is. I don't like running more than 10 trading pairs with the bot so I can maximize profit and keep it chugging during slow periods. One of the best ways to boost your confidence when it comes to bot trading is backtesting performance. By knowing how bots performed based on various settings, charts, and conditions, you can improve your odds of success and profitability exponentially. When you're doing technical analysis by hand, it's normal to have to test out multiple indicators, compare and contrast charts, prices, timeframes, performance, and data for hours on end to find out if your strategy even works in the first place. And sure, you could use scripts or platforms to code and test strategies automatically, but not everyone is a coder, and that's a huge risk if you're not getting your work checked by someone better than you. Your output could look like a money printing machine, but one little mistake on one line of code could cost you your entire trading portfolio. But the better crypto signal strategy automatically comes with a back tester right in trading view. And it's going to show you multi-month performance in seconds. The better crypto signals have been meticulously back tested over one of the most tumultuous and difficult bear markets crypto has ever seen. Even if you had the most epic golden signal, it wouldn't be enough to survive a brutal bear market. This is why signals are just half the formula to success. The parameters and DCA settings of the better crypto signals are what make this crypto bot trading strategy so successful. But to simplify things, once the bot's logic has the right conditions, it fires off a signal to my trading platform of choice and executes the trade instantaneously so that I never miss a trade even when I'm not paying attention to the market or the charts, no matter what the market conditions are. When the bear market started in November 2021, no one could have known it would have been so bloody. 2022 saw the collapse of massive companies like Celsius, BlockFi, FTX, and Terra Luna. And through it all, this strategy was able to avoid any significant losses throughout the entire year. In fact, it came out gushing with profits. This strategy limits how much will be used per coin per trade, scaling in as the price falls lower. The goal with this bot strategy is to beat the average returns on the market, not to make 10,000% trades. Another way this strategy wins long-term and keeps keeps your risk low is by avoiding short selling on the futures market. Lots of people will tell you that shorting can generate huge profits. It can also lead to severe losses if that chart keeps pumping. And that's why this strategy is designed to be long only, buying low and selling high without leverage. Worst case scenario, if there was another Terra Luna collapse with one of these 20 coins and that coin drops to zero, you're only risking a percentage of your total trading portfolio to begin with. So you'll still have your funds. Also, having a well-defined exit strategy is just as important as entering a position. Many traders struggle with the discipline to take profits at the right time. Some will hold on to winning trades for too long in the hopes of getting that Lambo, only to give back all of those unrealized profits if the market suddenly reverses. To prevent that from happening, this crypto trading bot strategy is set to automatically close trades and take profit after an increase of just 5%. While a 5% target per trade may seem small, the power of compounding can lead to significant gains over time. I'm not trying to take one trade that will give me a yacht. I'm looking for 
small wins that eventually add up to something huge that could possibly buy me a yacht. And by not trading on the futures market, we don't have to take on two, five, or 100x leverage to make gains. For the most part, we're minimizing our risks. And one of the best ways to keep our risks even lower is to take a look at the past. I spent months, I kid you not, backtesting this crypto bot trading strategy to find realistic results that are attainable. I purposely started backtesting this bot strategy starting January 1st, 2021 for nearly all of the trading pairs. To refresh some of your memories, 2021 was when Bitcoin reached 60K and we saw an epic alt season. And 2022 was the prolonged bear market. These ups and downs in the crypto market from the past few years provided me with a challenging starting point to test the bot's performance in both bull and bear markets. My ultimate goal was to make this bot profitable throughout the 2022 bear market through all of the ups and crashes. And I did it. By testing the bot starting from the market's best to its absolute worst, it's given me the widest range of data so I know that this performance is realistic and can be trusted. Now that you understand how our crypto trading bot works, let's run a test with $100,000. Let's use the aggressive strategy and focus on just two trading pairs, Phantom FTM and Monero XMR. The latter of the two has come under fire a lot lately, so I'm curious to see how well it performed despite all of the bad news Monero has been getting. And let's start our back test from the start of the previous bear market, November 21st, 2021. Let's see if these signals actually beat the bear market completely hands free. Here on Google Sheets, I have this ridiculous resource that goes way too into depth for this video. But the main thing you need to know about this sheet is that out of all of these 20 pairs, you'll note that there is no Bitcoin. There's a reason why. Bitcoin is the best asset that exists. There's no guarantee that any of these other 20 coins, aside from Ethereum, will exist in 10 to 20 years. But here's the thing. Bitcoin will stick around. But unfortunately, because Bitcoin is so big, that means that it really doesn't make very many volatile moves. And it's not volatile enough of an asset to come up with good signals. I spent months working on this system and I could not for the life of me find the most optimal settings at all for Bitcoin. Here's an alternative to all this data. We can see that these are closing a lot of trades and that's this row right here, total trades. On the medium performance, we're seeing 264 closed trades out of data set from April 8th. It's closing a whole lot of trades. So here's one strategy that you can use. At the end of every single month, you can do two things. One, you can take all the profits that you've made from the bot, reinvest it back in so that way all of your orders are just slightly bigger. So you're basically reinvesting your profits or take those profits and buy a little bit of Bitcoin, buy a little bit of Cardano, buy a little bit of Doge, Pepe, but you can use your profits to either reinvest into the bot again or to buy Bitcoin. This is something that I personally do and it works extremely well because whether Bitcoin's up or down, it doesn't matter. Every single month when I make a profit, I am going to buy some Bitcoin and put it in an offline wallet. Bitcoin isn't on here, but that's because it's just too stable. I know it doesn't feel stable, but when you think about the charts for Cardano, for Algorand, for Aptos, Atom, Bitcoin Cash, Doge, just these six, they're incredibly volatile charts, but this is good for bot trading. So let me break down this information. Over here in column A, we have BO. BO stands for base order. All that means is that's the initial trade. Looking at this, we're seeing here for column E for Cardano, ADA, we saw 172 of the total 261 trades close with the base order. It's 66% of all trades are closing with the base order. It's not super amazing. The thing about DCA bot trading that most people don't get is that you want to create a strategy that is as close to hands-free as possible, but inevitably you're going to have to rescue some deals. And the strategy of DCA bot trading is that you don't want to go all in on any one trade at one time. You want to slowly scale into a position. The way that this is done is that we have three safety trades. So when we think about our total possible volume right here in column B, whatever the number is, we're just going to use an easy base one system here. Volume of one for base order would be just one, but we're going to double down for the next order, which is safety one. So by doubling down for safety one, that's a total volume of three. We're going to double down again, which would be four. So two times four, four times two would be eight. So we're looking at adding every single time we go down, we're doubling down. We're going Martingale style down. This is the way to aggressively DCA out of positions. And as wild as this sounds, this works extremely well. Let's take this back into account with Cardano. If we know that 66% of the time we're closing with our first, well, rather our base 
purchase order, then that means we're only taking profit with a very small amount, 1 15th of our total possible volume. I've been bot training since 2018, and this is actually the sweet spot. Anywhere between 60 to 65% or so is very realistic and normal, meaning that over half of your trades are going to close without taking any safety trades. Why is this not sexy? Well, you want to make money, right? The best way to make money is by putting more to a position. When we buy more, we're also dollar cost averaging more, which means that we're getting a lower entry and it brings down our take profit target and it increases the total amount that we will sell on that bounce. I actually have a good calculator, I guess you could say right here that I want to quickly explain to you. So let's say we have an account size here of $100,000 and we only want to have two total positions open. That means that our base order size is going to be $3,333.33. That is approximately 3.33% of our account. So when we close that trade with 5%, then that means we're going to get about $166 per trade, which is less than a percent of the account, but a totally reasonable and good number. As we apply more volume and we double down all the way down here, this one base order plus safety one plus safety two plus safety three. These are the three additional DCA orders. Well, of course, we're going to zoom up from $3,000 to $50,000. And when we finally take profit of 5% of $50,000, we get $2,500, which is 2.5% of our total account size. But the main thing you need to know about this sheet that's really cool is that I have things color coded to quickly identify which pairs are better. Cardano is basically right on the money. It's not good. It's not bad. It's doing okay. But you can see here, sell E5 is red. That's because we want this to be greater than sell C5. If it's not, it's red. So you can see here for Aptos, APT, this one's at 14. We haven't had as many total closed trades, but we've seen 14 of these total closed trades, which is 10% of the entire data set close with the full possible volume. That means that even though Aptos does not seem to be performing as well as others because it's under the performance of the median performance of base order plus base order plus safety one, it's below because we're seeing like 14 closed trades with base safety one, safety two, safety three. That's a lot of volume. We're actually going to be making way more money with Aptos compared to Cardano. I have this highlighted right here to help you see and help you find charts that actually outperform the median performance we can see over here. So median performance for this bot looking at all 20 trading pairs, which is a lot of data. We're looking at 62% of the time trades are going to be closing with the base order. And then 28% of the time we're looking at safety one or base plus safety one closing possible volume of three fifteenths. Then safety two, we're looking at 9%, just under 10% of the time. And then safety three is very rare. It depends though. Aptos is pretty high. Shiba Inu token is really high because some perform better than others, but it depends on what you're comfortable with. If you don't want charts that are crazy volatile, avoid SHIB, avoid Aptos. But if you want charts that are going to fall a lot, which means that it's going to eat up those safety trades so that when the chart bounces, you're going to get a really nice payday, then you're going to want to check out Shiba Inu token and Aptos. The back test is done. 900 days of data during the worst period of drawdown we've ever seen in crypto. And just like I said at the beginning of the video, this is pure signal performance without any changes or adjustments. But before we get into the results, let me share some stats that I found really interesting. Phantom Trading Bot placed an average of 0.1 trades per day, which means that a new trade was placed every 10 days on average. Same with the Monero trading bot, 0.1 trades per day. I told you it was slow. And within the past week, both bots placed a total of two trades. Not bad given the average of one trade per 10 days. The Phantom trading bot made 165 total trades. Since all of them closed in profit, we have a 100% win rate. But of course, there were extended periods of drawdown while we waited on the bot to close a trade. The longest time we had to wait for a trade was 86 days, 2,084 hours. During that period, the price of Phantom fell as low as negative 53% and the bot still closed the trade in profit. The Monero trading bot made 148 total trades. Again, since all of them closed in profit, we have a 100% win rate. But just like with Phantom, there were extended periods of drawdown while we waited on the bot to close a trade. The longest time we had to wait for a trade was 58 days, 1,396 hours. During that period, the price of Monero fell as low as negative 50%, which happened on June 
20th. The highest profit from a single trade for either bot was $2,500, which is approximately 2.5% of our total account size. No more suspense. Let's take a look at the raw data on TradingView, and I'm going to show you all the details. This strategy is back tested from November 21st, 2021, up into the date of this filming, which is May 22nd. Between then and now, a lot has happened. Yes, the market's dropped a lot. Yes, it's recovered a lot. Do these signals actually beat buy and hold? That is the question. So when we come over here to our bot here for Phantom, yes, the strategy actually outperforms buy and hold. Down here in this little half of the strategy tester in the overview section, we have this green line. This green line here is our equity. This means this is our profits and this is our profit growing over time. The blue line here, this is showing us our buy and hold equity. There was a period where buying and holding Phantom did outperform the strategy. And actually right here, it outperformed it again. This has come completely normal and happens over time. But the reality of DCA bot trading is that you're going to be beating the market every single time. It might take a while and it depends if you want to take profit in Phantom or USD, because if you're taking profit in the currency itself, you actually have a higher profit potential. But the main thing to gawk at is that we have right here 116% profit since 2021, November 21st. This might not sound mind blowing, but that's still amazing. If you consider the fact that if you bought Phantom at the top of rather the bull market, which started the bear market, you would still be waiting for the price of phantom to shoot up to some ungodly number because that's what happens in bull markets. But the truth is that this strategy outperforms buy and hold, which is what you want to focus on. The way that the strategy is designed here on TradingView, it says 80% profitable. It's just a calculation error. I don't get why it does that. But the reality is that if we scroll through the chart, you're going to see that every single one of these trades closes in take profit, which is awesome. This profit factor right here is just ridiculous. Anything over two is like Superman level. And this is a Superman level strategy. Max drawdown, again, this doesn't really apply to us because this means that, yes, we're waiting on a position and it might be quite painful because we put in 50K and the price goes down a lot. This is more of like a max unrealized loss. But the truth is that even the worst trade, which is the one we're looking at right here, closes in profit. Let me make a little bit more room so we can see this. Right here, it has the base order, safety order one, safety order two, safety order three. That's the max amount that it will go. It's not going to add any more trades. This is actually the the longest trade right here. So I have the max bars per deal is 2,084 bars. That's basically this all the way to our take profit target. So it's a long time to be in a trade. That is good grief. August 10th, all the way to November 5th. That's a long time, but patience pays. Here's also why patience pays. If you decided to interfere with this and the price is down, notice that it went down 53%. If you decided here, you know what? I'm just going to take a loss of 34%. It's not just a loss of 34%. You're adding in the volume of your base plus safety one plus safety two. So that is seven fifteenths, almost half of your total possible portfolio size per trade. 50K portfolio. Like that's a lot of money to lose 34% of. It actually pays to eat the safety order, let the price fall down. Even an additional from this safety order down here is another 23%. It's not going to feel good, but you know what's going to feel really good is closing it in profit. Profit. That is the kind of stuff that I love to see. So you can see here we have TPTP. This is not what you think TP is. TP is take profit. I want to go over what this looks like here with the strategy. And I first want to break this down by looking at this table on the right hand side. This table is super duper handy. It comes with the DCA Backtester Pro, which is available to people in the pro tier of the Better Traders Club. And I love this because it's a very clear breakdown of how this bot performs. Note, we do not use a stop loss. And even after waiting a max bar per deal of 2,084 hours, we got all this crazy run up, all this crazy volatility, which makes all this crazy profit. We can see that the average deals or trades per day is 0.1, which means one trade every 10 days or so. We have 165 total closed trades, but we get even more information here. We can see that out of the 165, 94, which matches the whole like 60% for base order, that matches, but we can see nine right here, which is really good. So getting those rare occasions 
times where we see base order, safety one, safety one, safety two, safety three. That's the max it will go. We had a very sudden pullback here from March all the way down here until April. We saw a max drawdown of 55%. Once the market snapped back up, closed in profit, I can still be trading other things. This does not have to be my only trading strategy. DCA bot trading should always be a complementary strategy that you're running along with your futures trading, along with spot trading, along with scalping and long trade investments. Let's go ahead and look at Monero. The reason why I want to show you Monero XMR is because Monero actually came under a lot of stress. There was a period where Monero was delisted from Binance.com, which caused a lot of drama. It was actually very, very devastating because delisting events can be destructive to a cryptocurrency. I'm curious to see how does XMR handle that delisting event. But before we go there, I want to show you the max bars per deal. So we can see here 1,396 bars. It fell a total of 50% here in June 2022. This is when we saw the first market bottom back in 2022, even though it bottomed again about five months later in November. But this was a massive, massive bounce from here all the way down 50%. And we shot all the way back up, hit our take profit target. If this didn't hit right here, it would have hit here. It would have hit here. It would have hit here and here and here. Even if you did not get filled on that little one, you would have got filled there, there and there. So you would have hit your take profit. So we can see that it's performed extremely well. Actually, for this one, I want to show you how it looks. Now, I don't have the data here on the screen, but I have it recorded because of deep back testing available to me here on TradingView. But we can see here, January 2022, this is essentially the start of the bear market. Monero is up here at what, $243 or so. And we can see that even though we had some nice little uptrends, we saw some devastating drops where it fell over a course of three days, 44%. You can see it slowly dragging lower and lower, falling 50%. Then it's just grinding sideways. Here we have the FTX collapse. I'm going to get a little bit more. So we start our order here, falls down even further, 15% and then it bounces up on that little dead cat bounce. Boom, takes profit. Starts again after being down 15%, starts it up, buys more, and then finally on the bounce, boom, takes profit. And then you can see it chugging along and down here at $120 or so. Then we see the market recover just a little bit. And then we're going to see way more trades on volatile moments than we will on uptrends. It might be kind of slow on an uptrend, sells on the bounce. But then we got a scam wake right there. There we go on June 2020 falls all the way down here to 126 again, and then it rockets back up. Let's zoom ahead. Here is the delisting event. So this is when Binance decided to delist XMR Monero from their exchange. It caused the price of Monero to drop 37% all the way down to $100. And check it out. That's insanity. Literally hit the wick right there. If that didn't actually hit, it might have taken a little bit of time. So instead of closing right there, because I say that because of slippage, sometimes people's orders don't get filled exactly there. Even so, we have that price level that is definitely hit over here in February. But once that's hit, we get more action, more action, more action. And then it keeps going. It keeps raging. It just keeps going and going. And it literally just closed two more trades. For the big reveal, how did it do 94 percent profits. The total trades here is different from the total closed trades here, by the way, because this is accurately taking into account all the safety trades. This number is not to be trusted. Neither is the percent profitable because if everything is closed and take profit, we have 100% profitable. This is just a trading view thing. We can see 94% profit over three years of basically doing nothing with these guys, doing whatever you want. Absolutely insane. Now, if we add all of our profits for the entire back test, that brings us to a total profit of $105,203.41 accrued over 900 days, just a hair over 100% on our original investment. This crypto trading bot is 100% automated from the signals to the strategy and back testing and finally to actually placing the trades. The bot did all of this without me even touching it. Of course, there's no way to ensure only winning weeks. You're inevitably going to run into dry periods where you're either waiting on a trade to close or you're just waiting for a signal. But even so, the better crypto signals have a well-designed, thoroughly tested trading strategy that can tilt the odds in your favor over the long run. But you should always approach this with realistic expectations. Periods of extreme drawdown are inevitable 
inevitable. By the way, if this is something that you actually want to run on your crypto trading account, you can go to the link in my description down below. I am personally going to be using this bot a lot more going into the bull market. And speaking of the bull market, click on this video to learn how to get rich in the 2024 bull run. Thanks for watching and you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.